We're closing in here on the 2022 Nebraska football season. Sean Callahan with Husker Online and ABM here today. And we're going to continue our in-depth conversations with members of the Nebraska offensive line. And today we've got a fresh group of guys joining us. Uh, a couple newcomers to the program. we got Kevin Williams, Omaha native, uh, via Northern Colorado. We've got Hunter Anthony, Oklahoma native, that came via Oklahoma State. And then a couple of veterans in the program, Henry Latoski and Bryce Benhart. Guys, welcome. Uh, it's great to have you on. Yeah, thank you. Great to be here. Well, let's get right to it. Um, you know, going into the year, I'm going to go right to you first, Bryce, because you're a, a returning starter, played a lot of football here at Nebraska. Um, what do you think of this group? What do you think of the makeup of this line? Um, a lot of guys returning with experience, a lot of guys that have versatility. You've added some new guys. Uh, what do you like about this group so far? I mean, with the people we added, Kevin and Hunter, they're, they're great pickups for us. I mean, everyone, doesn't matter who's going to be on the field, but we all have each other's back. We're, I mean, we're a close-knit family in the offensive line. Um, we're going to have our guys that are going to be ready to play. Doesn't matter what, doesn't matter if you're in the three deep, two deep, one, whatever, starter. Everyone's going to earn their spot. I mean, yeah. And Henry, you're, you're, you've kind of waited your time, but you're right in the competition now to, to play this season. Uh, where are you at going into this 2022 season? Oh, uh, you know, I'm in the two deep right now, uh, trying to work my way up, but you know, just focusing on getting better every day and improving. And then newcomers to the program, Hunter and Kevin. Um, Hunter, um, coming in from another Division One program, Oklahoma State, uh, what has been the biggest adjustment for you? Um, it's really been easy because the guys have been great. Like, the guys have welcomed me in. Um, Rell has been awesome. So I don't really have any complaints. Like, it's been pretty easy because the guys have been great. Um, it's kind of, you know, similar at all big schools, I feel like, like the commitment level. Um, so it's just been a lot of hard work, you know. But uh, like I said, it's real easy when you got a lot of guys you really care about and that are behind you the whole way. So, And Kevin, your story is very unique. I mean, you're from Omaha and you're coming back here for your, your final year, possibly two years at Nebraska uh, from northern Colorado. And you didn't get to play a season last year, right? Yeah. So just for you getting back into it, um, how has it been for you um, kind of getting back in the swing of things? It's definitely nostalgic. It's fun. Uh, biggest difference, I would say, is the culture. With, like you said, being with the guys and everything. And, Kind of what's expected of you and how we run everything up here is more of a business aspect. So it's been fun. It's a big adjustment. It's a blessing. I'm thankful for it. So I'm trying to make the most out of it. One well, new coach in the building, uh, Coach Riola, and you know, change is never easy. I was talking to the other alignment. It's kind of like when you work for a company and a new boss comes in. It's sometimes not easy to adjust to new coaches, new styles. Uh, Bryce, I mean, you've been around in Nebraska for a long time, and um, I mean, just for you adjusting to a new coach. Uh, what have you liked about Coach Riola? So I mean, he set the standard right away when he first came in. The first day he came in, he set the standard with us. Um, he he's exceeding our standards. He like never wants us to be satisfied. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's always satisfied. pushing us. Yeah. Make sure we improve every day. Mm -hmm. Either you're getting better or you're getting worse. You never stay the same. It's like his big yeah. thing he says every day. He's, he's no nonsense, too, right? Yeah, no, he's straightforward, straight to the point. Be physical, be the toughest guy, be the toughest unit on the field at all times. So. He'll, lo he'll love you at the same time, but he'll yell at you, too. But he'll crack a joke the next second. I mean, he's, I don't know, I think he'd be a great, he's uh, going to be a great, great uh, coach for us. He pushes us out of our comfort zone a lot, and I think that's big, like, because it's easy to be like, oh, well, we're working hard. But, like, he really pushes us, you know. And it's hard sometimes, but, like, at the end of the day, that's what we need. And, like, we come together on it, you know, so. Was there kind of like a mark the territory moment for him when he first got here where he kind of, you know, you just don't know how it's going to be. And he said something or got something going right away where you're like, okay. <laughs> like, I mean, you're shaking your head. Yeah, he uh, definitely seemed a little bit strict at first and almost a little bit. Mm -hmm kind of unsure about it, but then as we got to know him more, we realized like the type of person he really was. I think once we got the spring ball, we got the pads on, it was more like a football aspect. You kind of see his real personality. Like That's what he loves to do, is football. So it's different, you're in t-shirts and shorts running drills, but we get to put the pads on to compete and watch film and get in those meetings. You used to get to see his persona a little bit more. What was that? What was that? I mean, is there a moment you can share like right off the, maybe the first couple of weeks where you're like, man, this is going to be, you know, we got a different coach and got to kind of change and do things a new way. I mean, was there kind of a moment or two that you can share from that? Um, Probably the first team meeting we had where we introduced him, and we all got yelled at for not having our notebooks out. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So we're all kind of unsure after that, but no, he's a great guy. We all love him. Mm -hmm. 
and he comes from the NFL, um, yep. Chicago Bears, um, and a lot of people you talk to that were with him highly regarded Coach Rayla. I mean, what is he, does he show you guys cut ups, Kevin of the Bears? Oh yeah, all the time. Olin Cruz. Yeah, shout out Olin Cruz. That's our guy. But uh, yeah, we watch a lot of NFL film, whether that be from the past few years or even old school film. We put in different plays or different technique. A lot of his biggest thing is just like your intent behind your blocks. Like, are you looking to be nasty? Or are you looking to displace? You know, are you looking to actually get move, uh, get body movement? Or are you looking to just kind of be in position? So like his big thing is like, we're going to be physical, we're going to do it fast, we're going to do it now. Bryce, what has he been able to get out of you so far? Just kind of maybe a new coach, new approach, new kind of a, re a re reset of things in a lot of ways. I mean, complete, it's completely different from what our old, old line coach, but I mean, his, expect, his uh, expectations of me, I mean, and everyone else in the whole offensive line are to a complete different standard. Um, the tempo he wants us at, or all of us at, just not me. The grittiness, the nastiness, to uh, go into the whistle. How about you, Henry? I mean, what's been the change for you? Uh, I feel like we're able to attack more. I mean, we're getting after guys, um, really just cutting it loose. I mean, his big thing is like, just don't think, just play. And mm -hmm. I think that really helps me personally. And uh, I know all the guys have felt like they're just coming off the ball and attacking more. Hunter, do you know, I mean, you always hear the stigma, the Big 12 versus the Big 10 and the different styles. I mean, yeah. do you see that right away? Like the type of players, um, the size of players, I mean, just the style of football that you're playing in this conference now versus what you came from? I mean, for sure. Because um, when I got here, like I met Bryce and Teddy and they're both gigantic, you know, and I've always been like the biggest. So that was kind of crazy at first, but um, we got a lot of really like big kids, you know, but um, again, back to like Raula, like he teaches a different, I guess, unorthodox, not original style of like O-line play. And we're able to like move and like actually make contact and like get movement. And so it like, I think it plays well to the Big Ten. And I can't really talk about it a lot because I mean, I've never played in a game in the Big Ten, so I can't really, you know, speak on that in that sense. But that's just kind of what I've got so far. You know, something I talked to the other guys about is, you know, the way you take care of your bodies as offensive linemen. And, you know, you guys are new to the program. Um, how big of an adjustment was it when, you know, you got into the nutrition program and all the things you had to do? Kevin, obviously for you, I know you've uh, trimmed a lot of weight since you've been here. I mean, kind of go into detail just what you've been able to do in, in just about six months. Honestly, it's a day and night kind of difference as far as what we got for resources, whether it be academics and nutrition wise. Like you gotta go through the academics to get to your food and everything. So Coach Dave does an awesome job. He got I came in at three sixty. I'm at three thirty right now. So like he had me on intermittent fasting. I would eat two meals during the day and then fast during the night, not eat after two PM. So like and then at first I was kinda of worried about it just because we lift so much. That's another thing. Our strength and conditioning program is also top top of the nation. Coach Duval is doing this thing. We move a lot of big weight every single day. That's the expectation. So you get strong pretty fast, you get faster pretty fast. You gotta hop in, it's, it's a competition. Everybody's competing, you know, who's doing what, who's doing what the most. So uh, I would say the biggest thing though is just the resources in itself. They spend a lot of money for us to be right and be healthy and have the right things in our body. So you gotta use it, it's up to you to use it. So do you still do the intermittent fasting? No, 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 I'm allowed to eat after two, thank God, so. I mean, <laughs> I bet the first week or two that that would be hard. It was hard. It was a little, a little bit of an adjustment, but he was real adamant about making sure he supported me. Like, he'll text me and stuff, make sure I was good if I need anything else or. Just drinking water. Yeah, you know, drinking Gatorade's water. Like, not drinking my calories, so I would switch to Gatorade Zero, stuff like that. I would smoothies during the day, uh, lean meats, a lot of rice, uh, a lot of vegetables and fruit. So like he made sure I knew what I could have and was able to do what I wanted to do. He made it. He made it real simple for me. He made yeah. it real easy. Henry, the other linemen were talking about uh, the body adjustments and nutritional. And they said that you were one of the few guys that didn't have to do a lot. Your body carried 300 pounds, about as well as you're going to carry. I mean, what do you do to? I mean, is, are you just genetically blessed, or I mean, have you always ate right to kind of keep the way you are? I don't know. I guess like mom and dad must have good genes, but uh, no, my my mom would always like she's always big on like home cooked meals, you know, stuff like that. It's like. I never really ate fast food that much. I don't think I had McDonald's until I was like a freshman in high school. Get out, really? Yeah, I, parents never took me there. Uh, <laughs> but no, they're always big on like healthiness and stuff. But I mean, I've done a little bit of like maintenance work to myself. I mean, just to get to like a playable weight and lean out more. And Bryce, I mean, you're an ex wrestler, so I mean, I, I still can't believe you wrestled. Was it 285? Yeah, that's heavy weight, yeah. And I mean, that had, so you. For you, you, once you got out of wrestling, I bet you just shot right up. Yeah, my first, after I came uh, I came in, I was like 290 probably. And then after that first winter, I just 
I shot up out of nowhere. But then it's help having that, it's nice having that wrestling background just because um, with help losing weight and just shedding off that weight and know what to eat, what, know what not to eat. Yeah, you can drop 10 or 15 in a weekend if you really want to. I'm yeah, guessing. a week or two, yeah. And for you, I mean, coming in, I mean, what was the biggest difference for you nutritionally, Hunter? From I would say the support, like, because Dave, Dave's been doing it forever. And just, like, the support we have, like, with fans and everything. But, like, the money we're able to, like, spend and use, like, is unbelievable, you know. And so it's hard, like, you have to try to fail because we have a lot of great resources, you know. So that was the biggest thing for me is, like, having everything right there at my fingertips. So it's, like... If you're not like maximizing yourself, it's kind of on you. Like you're trying not to, I guess. What's one thing at like the training table at Nebraska that you see pretty routinely that you never are like, wow, I can't believe they offer this to us every day compared to maybe what you came from? Well, like just like the fresh fruits and vegetables like every day. Like, um, I mean, Oklahoma State had good stuff, but like our our budgets like you could probably look at it as way bigger, you know. So like that stuff and like the quality of foods a lot better. And then like the amount of like steak we have is crazy just because we're like in Nebraska, you know. So that's um, stuff like that's like unbeatable kind of. Are you on a steak limit? Or are you allowed to eat? Yeah, I'm a steak limit. He watches me make my plate. I can have two, two of them. Now I'm good. I can have two. But before I was at only chicken and fish, shrimp, light, uh, white meat, uh, no noodles, rice, no bread, no fried food. So. He's still on me a little bit to kind of make sure I maintain, but no, I'm a little bit, I have a little more leeway now with my plate, so. All right, enough food talk. It's too close to lunch right now. <laughs> um, let's talk some football now as you guys kind of get this thing put together. Um, you know, finding like the right combination of linemen. I talked about this with the other guys. I mean, there's so many of you guys that can play. Um, how do you find the right combination? But with that said, how important is it that there's two or three guys that may not be part of the five that can go right in? and. Bryce, I mean, you, you've kind of been on both sides. You've started, you've come off the bench, so you understand the value of depth and what it means. It's just, I mean, with, our, with this group now, I think it's just the versatility that we have on the offensive line. I mean, we have, we have there's the five, but then I think there's, there's a few more guys in there that I know if anything was gonna happen, it doesn't matter who, but we're, we will be ready to play with them. Like if they have to jump in at halftime, or whenever, third quarter, fourth quarter, even the first. I mean, everyone's ready to go jump in. Yeah, I think uh, one thing that helps is just how close of a unit we are. I mean, we all hang out all the time, hang out at the stadium every single day, lift together, eat together. And uh, I think that's big, just so you're not playing next to someone completely random. I mean, you guys are always going to be on the same page, you know. How about you guys as newcomers? I mean, how do you get yourself in that rotation and obviously even try to battle for starting time? Just being versatile, like coach, he's really building everybody, knowing everything. It's like you can play guard, you can play tackle, you can play tackle, you can play guard, play center, whatever. You know everybody's job. The one is it makes it easy to hold somebody else accountable, but it also helps you to hold yourself accountable. And then you're more versatile, so now you can be on the field. So you don't know where you're gonna be at, you don't know what who's gonna fall where or who might get hurt. So just be ready at all times. All right, kind of like piggyback off what they said, like we care so much about each other, like it's pretty easy. Like it's pretty easy to support each other and be like, oh, I'm playing by him. Well, like, I trust him already. Like, because that's a big thing, like, with our line plays. Like, if you don't trust your guy, it's really hard. Um, and I think they all probably agree with that. Like, Definitely. Because, like, if you're doing a combination block or whatever, it's like whenever you play by someone for a little bit, like, you feel, you know, like, people are different, you know. But, like, we trust each other, like, so much that's, like, we can kind of interchange and, like, we communicate. I've communicated here, like, more than I've ever have, like, at O-line and so like Raul was big about that too like over communicating so like we communicate things that really don't need to be communicated but like it helps you like understand the game better you know like a tackle if you see something the guard doesn't see it like he alerts it and like we all see it and it really helps and that's live reps yeah yes. do one I want to hear what you talk like so if you see just pretend like you see something I want to hear what you say okay saying. so like basically like in pass pro like if something's happening like we can call it clear, like if there's no extra rushers or if there's a threat out there that the guard or center might not see because there's a lot going on or they got to make other calls. And so like just making like a clear call, like saying, hey, like doesn't look like anyone's coming or if they're manned up out there, you know, and there's a deep safety, I call clear. And they could see like, oh, well, maybe I could flip it, the protection the other way because there's blizzards coming or kind of whatever's going on. Um, not trying to give anything away. Yeah. But, <laughs> just uh, communication. Yeah. yeah, just like over communicating stuff. Um, and same on blocking, like if there's certain things happening or certain things we see on film, like, 
or if a certain rusher is that's a good rusher is like somewhere he's in a weird position it's like hey like alert so and so or whatever you know just being clear and like alerting stuff because sometimes like when you're tired and stuff it's easy to miss stuff but then the other guy alerts and you're like oh yeah like lock you back in and you're back on it you know so that helps yeah bryce how big is that i mean you've been on the right tackle for a few years and i mean you see some of these junk looks where they overload a side and all of a sudden there's like six guys rushing the right tackle and you, yeah. you got to figure out how to figure you know block it i mean it's just reassuring me and my right guard or it doesn't matter what wherever wherever you're playing it's just reassuring each other and i mean Knowing the guards' calls and knowing the guards' ta or the tackles' calls, it just helps each other out. Well, I want to talk about Ireland now and, and just what's up ahead. I mean, we're less than 75 days away when we're taping this right now uh, to the start of that season opening game. Um, how excited are you for the opportunity uh, to go on the road, week zero, national TV? Kevin, I'll let you go, uh, just go out to Dublin, Ireland and play this game. I'm excited. I'm excited for all the games, honestly. But Ireland's going to be fun. It's a different experience. Never been to Europe, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be a trip to none of us. I don't think you guys been to Europe? No, yeah, no, so no, I, don't, no. I know a lot of people haven't been there, so it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be fun. How about you, Bryce? What are you looking for? I mean, I've never been out of the country either. I mean, I think it's going to be fun to see the experience over there. I know the NFL played overseas, and they get a big turnout, so I, I expect us to have a nice turnout with fans and all the locals around there. I'm really just looking forward to, I mean, I think it'd just be cool to see a new spot, honestly. I mean, I don't really care too much about where it's at. I mean, at the end of the day, we've still got one goal that we got to win that game. But, you know, it'll be cool just that whole week ahead, just seeing everything, meeting new people, you know, seeing new places. It'll be fun. Um, I've been to Europe, so I hate to, like, burst their bubbles. But, um, Where'd you go? Uh, well, I actually have a dual citizenship with Germany, and my okay. parents, that's where my mom's from. But um, I'm super excited just because, you don't normally play a season opener that's, you know, a Big Ten team, you know. I think that's, like, a huge deal. Like, I'm excited to go do that. Like, that's, you know, different and it's exciting, challenging, you know. But um, it's going to be awesome. I've never been to Ireland, but that's going to be really cool. But, again, you know, what Henry said, like, us winning is, like, the number The business one. trip. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. If we don't win, I don't care about the trip. That, yeah, that, no one wants to deal with that plane right afterwards. Yeah. I mean, no. but... You, with that said, I mean, we, I know you got to go there for the game, but what's one thing? If you can do one thing out there, what do you want to do? I, have, I really have no clue. I don't know what to expect. Honestly, yeah, I really don't know what to expect out there. We hopefully we got a lot of people that know a lot more than us taking care of us, you know. Because you're maybe going to get one or two activities over that week. I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun for you guys. Well, guys, hey, thank you for taking a chance to sit down here. I know uh, we're in the midst, or you guys are in the midst of training and getting ready for the season. Uh, looking forward to seeing how this offensive line comes together. Thank you. Appreciate you. Yeah, thank Thanks you. All right, well, that wraps it up here with the offensive line for Husker Online and ABM. I'm Sean Callahan.